Valentine's Day, love it or hate it, it can be really difficult to avoid it. In the UK, we spend a ridiculous amount of money on Valentine's Day. And for those of us that aren't in a relationship, it can be a really difficult day. I'm a bit of a Valentine's Day Scrooge, so I wanted to do something a bit different with this Valentine's vlog. So this is part one of Gap Reacts to Valentine's Day, where I show some of the Gap ladies some of the shocking statistics around Valentine's Day spending and mental health. Here's what they had to say. That is ridiculous. That's so much money. I mean, that is ridiculous. What are they, what are they spending it on? Wow. <laughs> I wonder what they spent it on. The UK? Yeah, just the UK. No, that is insane. I'm not give any money towards that. <laughs> That is, I find that I find that staggering and obscene. But presumably that's meals out and mm -hmm. gifts and everything included. Yeah. I think I find it very difficult to separate a figure like that from kind of expectation and pressure mm. of what you feel you have to do. Nineteen. <laughs> well, how can you pay spend? 19 million on pets. 19 million pounds. <laughs> like, at Christmas I get my cats like a packet of dreamies. Yeah, obviously. But that's like one million. <laughs> that's not 19 million pounds. Yeah. I mean, I think I would be more likely to buy a Valentine's Day present for my dog than I would. <laughs> yeah. For a person. I also, I understand that people like love the animals. Like, dogs yeah. are better than humans, I accept that. <laughs> I would not spend 19 million pounds. No. That's really sad. Oh my gosh. One in ten. One in ten. That's quite a lot, isn't it? Yeah. Unwanted is like a horrible like yeah. word to say. Um, I think that that is entirely created by this this commercial construct around Valentine's Day because it shouldn't be any different from the other day. Yeah. I think it is because people make this big song and dance about it. Yeah. Like if pe like people pay so much, if people are going to spend ninety million pounds on their pets and however many millions mm. pounds on like people on the day, like if you're not a part of that, then that could make you feel sad. Yeah, I can see how when you're just surrounded by expectations and you feel like everybody you're looking at has some mm -hmm. amazing experience with an amazing partner. And that's not even the case. Yeah, anyway. exactly. Like, relationships can be difficult and things like that, you know. Yeah, like one nice day doesn't paint a picture for like the rest. Exactly. <laughs> the idea that people feel so alienated that they feel so low, mm -hmm. um, because this is such a commercial celebration of love, makes me really, makes me really sad. Yeah. If other people have this, why can't I have it? Yeah. But actually, what people do on Valentine's Day isn't an accurate, like, buying loads of flowers and spending loads of money isn't, like, an all-round way of showing you love someone. Yeah. And, like, having a lovely relationship. You can do all that stuff on Valentine's Day and it would have any meaning if the rest of the year you were not, not in a great place. So we spend a lot on Valentine's Day, but what I find more shocking is that so many of us let a commercial, somewhat pointless day impact our mental health and well-being so much. No one should ever feel unwanted any day of the year. The good news is that there are solutions and we don't have to spend a fortune or sit at home feeling sorry for ourselves on Valentine's Day. If you do have a special someone this year and you want ideas on how you can spoil and treat them, I've written an alternative gift list of things you can do, places you can go, things you can make even, that aren't going to cost you a fortune and aren't going to end up thrown in the bin within a few weeks. And if, like me, you're not going to be spending Valentine's Day with someone this year, that's okay. There's no need to sit at home feeling sorry for yourself. I really recommend getting outdoors and doing something with your time. For ideas and inspiration on how you can do that, watch my previous vlog that was all about getting outdoors and being happy. To read the alternative gift list or watch my previous vlogs, follow the links below in the description. And as always, don't forget to click subscribe to hear more from us.